Welcome to Token Post Daily News Briefing, where we provide you with the latest and most exclusive news on blockchain and cryptocurrency. Our top stories today, ETC hackers return what they've stolen, Google blacklists the keyword Ethereum, and Bitcoin whales resurface after the crypto winter of 2018. Stay tuned for more. I'm your host, Hun, and this is your Daily News Briefing. Gate.io, a cryptocurrency trading platform, stated in its official blog over the weekend that one of the ETC 51% attackers returned $100,000 worth of ETC on January 10th. According to the Post, just three days after the attack, one of the attacker had decided to return the fund that was stolen during the rollback of ETC blockchain. Surprisingly, the exchange stated that more ETC was being returned to their account at the time of writing. According to Gate.io's research center, the mining algorithm used by the attacker has been retracted from the network and no further rollbacks have since been detected within the ETC blockchain. When the attack took place, Gate.io announced that it had successfully identified the attackers and contacted them. However, despite its efforts, Gate.io was not able to receive any comments as to why the attack took place and why the funds were later returned. The major search engine Google was accused by Decenter, an Ethereum startup, of blacklisting the word Ethereum from Google Ad Services. Decenter, an Ethereum smart contract audit services firm, claimed earlier this week that they have spotted a harsh stop on Google Ads containing the word Ethereum. To quote a representative of Decenter, we've been using Google Ads for the past six months and have noticed a strange change in the past few days. When the change was first detected, Decenter asked the Google Ads Twitter account whether there have been any changes in their policies. Google Ads responded by saying that no changes to their policies had taken place and that only ads for ICOs, sales and brokerage services are banned from their services. However, when further research was conducted by Decenter, the firm found that if an ad included the word Ethereum, Google Ads services will not show the ad in the result. For instance, if a user were to search Ethereum smart contract audits and EOS smart contract audits, the firm stated that only the latter will be shown to the users. While Decenter has requested an official explanation, Google has yet to put out an official statement to the alleged discriminatory practice of the keyword Ethereum. Over the past week, Japanese regulators have announced plans on licensing exchanges and clarified their stance on Bitcoin ETFs and derivatives. According to Cointelegraph, the Japanese Financial Services Agency, or the FSA, is set to announce the approval or rejection of seven applications for a licensed crypto exchange in the coming two months. Currently, the FSA is reviewing 21 applications, seven of which will be decided upon the coming two months. Aside from licensing exchanges, the FSA has also clarified its stance regarding Bitcoin ETFs and derivatives. Last week, Bloomberg reported that the Japanese FSA may be moving forward with their plans to approve Bitcoin ETFs. However, it was later found by Bitcoin.com, a cryptocurrency media outlet, that the Japanese FSA is not considering the approval of Bitcoin ETFs. Last Friday, the spokesperson for the FSA clarified to Bitcoin.com that there is no such fact that the FSA is considering the approval of ETFs at the moment. The FSA also confirmed its position on cryptocurrency derivatives, stating that they are, quote, not considering the listing of Bitcoin futures on the financial instruments market. Last Saturday, Bloomberg reported that Bitcoin whales might be resurfacing, which may indicate dramatic price swings in the coming days. Starting October, a large number of holders who had been inactive over the past years began to move their assets, bringing the total amount of circulating Bitcoin supply up to 60%. According to research conducted by Flipside Crypto, a crypto-dedicated analysis firm, the supply of active Bitcoin was around 20% before the October of 2018, whereas around 3.8 million wallets were inactive during the same period. However, over the past six months, the number of active Bitcoin has risen by more than 40%, while the number of inactive accounts has decreased to 2.8 million. The CEO of Flipside Crypto stated that they have exhibited many longtime holders of Bitcoin become active. Eric Stone, the head of data science at Flipside Crypto, claimed that the market experienced a similar uptick before the surge that brought the price of Bitcoin to a record high of $20,000. According to the analysis from Flipside Crypto, it is evident that whales have indeed started to move once again. 
Whether this is a very good news or bad news to the crypto market is yet to be seen. Bringing you the latest news, I'm your host Hun with the Token Post Daily News Briefing. Thank you for watching.